What's up guys, it's Tari, nice to see you again. So I'm here just to do a really, really quick haul video. I'm actually on my way to the mall. This is a very small haul. The first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is this new face wash that I'm trying out. It's by Algenis, okay? It's their purifying and re replenishing cleanser, okay? Um, this is what the bottle looks like. And it comes with eight fluid ounces of product. So it's, it's a good amount of product. Like this is gonna last you for a while. And I don't know, I don't think that my skin is agreeing with it because I realize that the texture of my skin is changing. Like usually the only part of my face that is really textured is my nose because I have really large pores and stuff like that. But now I'm really realizing that, you know, right here is getting really, really dry. It feels really, really hard and patchy and I'm, I'm getting like little like pimples all over my face. So if you guys have any you know, um, face washes that you guys are currently using right now that you love, and it's not Basha, the black cleanser or whatever, leave it, I was looking for the bottle, <laughs> leave it down in the comment area what face wash you guys would suggest, um, whether it's low end or high end. The next product I want to talk about that is a rave for me, like it's a must have for the summer <laughs> and fall, is the Sephora Colorful Blush, and this is in Hot Flush, which is friggin' awesome. It is a orange satin blush. It is amazing. You don't even really have to use a highlighter with this product because it gives such a nice sheen on its own. But if you want to, feel free to use a highlighter because I still do, but that's just because I'm hella extra. I haven't tried it combined with the La Femme Blush in Orange. I haven't done that yet. I actually might do that in another tutorial just to see how, it, how they work together. But if you have the La Femme blush and orange still get this one invest in it if you don't like it just friggin return it to sephora because you guys know i am the queen of returning in general so i feel no way about returning stuff okay give me back my money up next is the kat von d high voltage eye primer i've had this for a little while now i'm not really sold on it i feel like it's just okay my eyeshadow always creases on me like forever. It doesn't matter if I use a primer and then a base, like a paint pot, they still crease. I think that every primer I've used is just okay. I haven't found a primer that stops my eyeshadow from creasing. But if you guys want to recommend any eyeshadow primers that you think would work for me and my always forever creasing eyelids, leave it down in the comment area because I'd really like to know. So, yeah, yeah. The next product I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I actually got the wrong shade. I wanted to get shade number two. I grabbed shade number one. I already have a gold highlighter, which is one that I'm wearing right now. And this is by Forever 21. And I got this like two years ago. And this is really good to me. Don't sleep on Forever 21 highlighters, okay? Sometimes, some of them are kind of like shit. I'm not going to lie. But you come across ones like, the, like this one. And it's pretty decent. So I'm going to return this. I'm not going to lie. Because... Even if um, the highlighter doesn't work for me, I can probably exchange it for the number two and use the the the, shade, the dark shade to contour. But the dark shade don't show up on me. Like, <laughs> who am I fooling with this product? You're like my shade, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. This shit ain't fucking doing nothing for you. I mean, I know people probably just put it over their... Um, over their cheeks just for like a flush of color or like you know just like a little glisten or sheen if like they don't want to look like they're wearing makeup okay fine that i can understand but to spend this was like what 45 dollars in canada like this ain't fucking worth it like girl bye the next product i have purchased which is what i'm wearing right now so this is in the color this is sorry this is the moon dust shadows this is in the color saltis now I like this color. I'm actually wearing it on my lids right now, but I feel like it looks like MAC Blue Brown Pigment, doesn't it? Like, can you guys see? I don't know if you guys will be able to see because the sun is shining. <gasps> Shine bright like a diamond. This shade honestly reminds me of MAC Blue Brown Pigment. It's just instead of the brown, it's like a pink color. So this is what it looks like. You see what I'm saying? It has like the same reflex in it. But it's really pretty otherwise. Like, I don't know. Let me swatch it. I mean, they are different. I can't even lie. I don't know. It's pretty. I can't doubt that. But it's just like, <sighs> fuck. Do I need this? Like, do I need this? It's different from the MAC Blue Brown pigment. The MAC Blue Brown pigment is a lot darker. Like, the base color is brown. Where this one, the base color is more like... You can kind of manipulate the base color of this, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Do you think it's even like, do 
you think it's even worth it? Do you like it? Do you think it's nice? Like, what do you think about it on my lids? Like, let me know what you think, all right? So, yeah, yeah. And last but not least, I just got two um, eyeliners. This is the Wet n Wild eyeliner. I got the Mega. What is this? Not the Mega. Oh, I, yeah, I got the Mega liner. And then I got the H2O waterproof one. I actually like the formulas of these. They're not really that expensive, but I like them, you know? So anyways, guys, that's all that I wanted to share with you guys and show you today. Um, let me know of some of the new things that you guys have tried and some things that you guys, you know, would recommend that I check out and see what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. And I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye!